Hey, what's good, everybody? I'm here for a fair shake reaction. What? Oh, me? Hi, I'm Miko Suzuhiro of Muddy Colt Madhouse, and it's April Fool's Day! <laughs> so, Blipmaster5 and I are going to be collaborating a couple times this month with some videos that normally the other person does. Both of these things that we're going to be doing are things that the other person has chosen. So this is one of two tasks that I am taking on that was requested of him, and I gave him two tasks to take care of on my channel, so you can totally check that out. Leave a like, give him some encouragement, because I'm very much looking forward to what he's going to be doing. So, I normally don't do reaction videos. Uh, I'm not going to be as technical as he is with music, but uh, the one thing that I can say that's the difference between the two of us is I have been into K-pop since 2007-2008, so I'm not a noob in this genre at all. <laughs> Blackpink the album, it actually exists. <laughs> When they announced this, I was in disbelief that they were ever going to get an album. As someone who was, and still is, a 21 fan, I was skeptical because YG doesn't have the best track record of releasing things on time, but since like the original CEO is not really the CEO anymore, uh, things have been changing. So, I acknowledge that this album is old, it's from last year, but I actually have not listened to it at all. So, he told me, do a reaction of Blackpink the album, I'm very curious what you have to say about it, and thought about just buying it the last time I went to Target, but I decided, you know what, I'm not sure how good this is going to be, and I'm quite picky with my physical medium purchases. Uh, but I looked forward to listening to their first full-length album, uh, even though it's only a master normally, like, does on these reactions is say what songs he has heard. So I have listened to How You Like That probably a hundred times at least. I've seen the video, I really like the song. Um, the only other song that I've heard off this album is Ice Cream with Selena Gomez. Which, honestly, I don't think I've like heard it straight through. Uh, mostly I've heard it through a, a review by Todd in the Shadows. So, what I've heard of it, it sounded okay. And I'm just really happy to finally like listen to this whole album. Um, I have a playlist called Need to Listen. Um, you can see it right here. And it got to that point where it was time for Blackpink to shine, and I freaked out. So I was like, no, I can't listen to this album yet until I react to it. So that is what I'm going to be doing today, is reacting to Blackpink, the album. Wish they actually had a title for said album. Kind of lame, but you know what? It kind of works on an ironic level. Alright, let's jump into this. Yeah, I really like this song. <laughs> and it totally makes up for like Kill the Slav, honestly. Even 
Kimono kind of follows a similar formula to a lot of their other, like, uh, title tracks. I still love the song. It's just so hype, it's so empowering, I love it. this album. This, this song was excellent. Top tier. Now I get to hear Ice Cream with like new commentary for the first time. This is fun. What I've heard, it's an okay song, but whatever. It's nice. right there when it went up. Oh. It wasn't bad. This is such a simple, like, radio-friendly song. This is such a bare-bones kind of song. I wish there was, like, more music to it. Like, it's okay, but I don't know. I just wish it had, like, more... It's like missing something, I feel like. It, it just sounds kind of empty. That's not a bad song, though. I don't listen to a lot of Selena Gomez, but she definitely blends in pretty well with Blackpink, so that's always good. There's a lot of uh, American features in K-pop songs. Sometimes they just sound like they don't blend at all. And it's just really awkward, or they seem like completely useless. Like you could take them out and it wouldn't change anything. Yeah, this stuff really like kind of fits their like I don't know actual like usefulness. I don't know. Because the way they kind of have more like badass girl like I guess what they call it, girl crush like um, fiercest. So this is kind of like yeah, it's just a sweet little fun song that we're not gonna like put a lot into. I don't know. I heard a lot of people like this song, Pretty Savage. So, I'm, I'm excited to listen to this one. Oh, okay. I'm expecting that. Okay. I don't know about these lyrics, so I mean, I don't understand Korean, but just I just sounded weird, like drip, drip, and uh, I, don't, I don't get it. Whatever. I like this part. No, this is not bad. It's a very like bare bones, barely a course kind of thing that they're known 
to do, like just sound effect, sound effect, sound effect. Like do do do, bumbaya, whatever. I guess I understand the appeal of this song, but so far it's, it's not really clicking for me. I don't know. I guess I just wish it like hit just like a little bit harder. So it just feels I don't know. Seems like disingenuous. Is that the right word? I don't know. I just I think it needs like just a little bit more punch for sure. I am kind of curious what like the lyrics are for this song though. It'd probably help me like like it a little bit more, but so far I'm like I'm not a huge fan like everybody else is. It's alright though. Yeah, that's fine. I think I've heard some things about this next track too, and I I love Cardi B so. This is a interesting combination. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't sound like something Cardi would be a part of. This sounds so safe. Okay, the part where they're saying the title a bunch of times, that sounds annoying. <laughs> she does not belong in this song. I'm sorry. Okay, crazy idea. Hear me out. Pretty Savage featuring Cardi B. I think she should have been on the previous track, honestly. I think that would have worked out a lot better for like Blackpink's benefit. Because this song is not doing like Cardi B didn't like do anything with this song. Like she didn't elevate it at all. But I think she would have worked a little better on Pretty Savage for sure. But yeah, this this is not working. This just sounds like ice cream part two. Yeah, I, I really think Cardi would have been a lot better in Pretty Savage than this song, because that did not fit her. Um, I forgot that this song was on here. I have heard this song. I watched the video a couple times. Maybe I'll like it more without the video? I mean, I didn't hate it, but I'm not crazy about it. But it definitely has like uh, summer vibes. Another acoustic guitar break. For the bridge. I will say this this course, very different. At least I think it sounds different than their previous courses from like a lot of their songs. Like it sounds like an actual course. No love letters, no X notes, no love, never my X's no, no diamond rings that set in stone to the left. Okay, I think I like this song just a little bit more. Like listening to it for like maybe the third or fourth time. I mean, it's it's cute. It's fun. It's very useful. It it definitely fits them. It's better than a uh, ice cream in Bet You Wanna. Definitely a lot like a favorite, like out of their discography, but it's actually not that bad. I thought it was like an interesting ending to that song, but I mean it works. 
Ooh. This sounds promising. Make sure you get left for your leave. This is a different, like, physical structure for sure. I'm, I'm into it so far. Please don't mess it up in the chorus. Please don't mess it up. What? What? Hold on. Okay, it was building up and then it just dropped. Like, nothing. This is like Black Widow by uh, Iggy Azalea and Rita Ora all over again, where I'm just like, oh, we're building up to some, some good, and then it's just like, nope. I hate that, I hate that so much. Like, see, it's like building up, like amping up. And then they added another, like, element to it, like a clapping or something, and then it's just... Nothing. Just... That's such a missed opportunity. Like, this horn section kind of helps it a little bit, but I just wish it just, like, kept that momentum. But they just decided, no, that's okay. Like, even this part could have been, like, more elevated higher. Like, think of, like, Big Bang's, like, Fantastic Baby at the very end when, like, everybody's all, like, grouped together and they're like, Fantastic Baby, da 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 Or even the end of, like, uh, BTS's Vital, where they have, like, that big party scene at the end. That should have happened right there on Crazy Over You. It just wasn't crazy enough for me. Alright. Okay, it did that again where it like built it up and then it just dropped. This actually works though. This kind of like sounds like something like Ariana Grande would do, honestly. Which isn't a bad thing. I love Ariana. I like this part. This is how you like this build up actually works where it just drops off, but it actually goes back up. Which the previous track didn't do. It just dropped off and it stayed off. Missed opportunities, guys. Oh, we got like an actual rap rap. Okay. Remind me why I'd be alone on my own if I needed to. I have you that I know. Hold up. I could do bad by love. Okay, I like that song. That was, that was a good one. Alright, last track. Hope it ends good. I'm always iffy with these like slow piano starting type songs because normally they don't end too well. At least for me, like I end up like not liking them. We'll see. Okay. It's like a pseudo ballad. Like it doesn't go full ballad. Just, just enough. You got like some strings in there. Okay. 
Okay. Got a little effect on the, the piano. A little echo on the vocal. This scary me like uh, 21 Lonely vibes a little bit. Just like bomb section. Interesting vocal uh, choice. Got some more strings. Okay, they're just gonna like chop it in it right there. Like, they're gonna shine on me. Bam, that's it. We're done. Hit stop. We're done. Record it like that. Record it. Uh, render it. Throw it on a disc. We're done with this album. Um, okay, so that was Blackpink, the album. Ha! Huh. Okay. What did I think? Um, okay. First of all, I'm happy I did, like, blindly buy this uh, I'm happy I didn't blindly buy this album. Um, that's, like, no shade to, to Blackpink or anything. Um, I, there are some exceptions where I will just blindly buy them because I know they have consistent, have a very consistent track record in their discography, and it's very rare that they're gonna like give me a bad product. Um, do I have any K-pop examples in my head? Yes, I do. Okay, uh, EXO. I have every single album, mini album. They always give a very consistent product. Um. I think that that I got I gotta look at my shelf. Hold on. Um I know I'm like I'm I know I'm like filling in my gaps of like BTS, but I don't think every single BTS album is like a huge like winner. Um oh shiny. Definitely shiny, very consistent, high quality, top tier discography as well. Um, they produce nothing but the best, um, so I don't have to, like, worry about, like, those two particular groups, for example. There might be some others that I can't think of off the top of my head that I don't have to worry about their stuff being bad, that they'll hit a bad album. Sure, there are albums I like more than others, but that's for, like, any artist, honestly. Um, but for Blackpink, um, started with them since day one with the Square Up and Square Two, like, albums. I, I enjoyed those and stuff. Um, there was a bit of a rough patch between, like, that and, like, where we are now because I did not care for Kill This Love, uh, have a love-hate relationship with Doo 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 Doo. But here we are at this present moment with the album. And I think it's an actual decent, it's decent. It is a decent album. I don't think it's one that I would personally want to own because um, I only really liked three songs. And maybe two of them were like, this was okay, but I don't think I would want, like, if it came on my, like, 
liked playlists on Spotify, I would probably skip it depending on my mood, which would be uh, Crazy Over You and Ice Cream. So I just didn't heart them. I'm like, if I ever get in the mood to like listen to one of those two songs, I'll just go directly play it. But for the most part, I don't think it would be something when it pops up, I'm going to turn up the volume in my car and be like, yes, this. Um, no, thank you. Uh, did I? I think I heard No, maybe I didn't heart it. This is a good song. So, so four songs. I like four songs. Um, so I guess I, I like half of the album because there's only eight tracks. Yeah, I like, like half of the album and maybe a couple. I don't know. I think I'm gonna be dragging my feet on purchasing the album. Like it, I I don't know. I'm still up in the air on buying it myself. Uh, like honestly, like uh, this was okay if I was a huge Blink, which I'm not. Obviously, I'm kind of like a casual Blink. Uh. I would, I don't know, I guess I would expect just a little bit more because they've had so much time to like do something because uh, they don't have the biggest discography and I'm not sure off the top of my head of what point 21 was in the amount of time Blackpink are together. Uh, Maybe I, I guess I'll put that below, like, what their discography stacks up to compare to Blackpink to where they are right now. Um, but I just feel like they had a more solid discography compared to Blackpink, and I hate- I don't- I don't want- I hate comparing the two, but I, I can't help it because they are from the same label and, like, I love 21 so much. And it took me a while to, like, warm up to Blackpink and I was, like, hoping they would find, like, their own identity. And they kind of have, but there are moments where they kind of pick a little bit from the 20, from 21 or Big Bang, they're, you know, seniors. And it also could come down to producer, because I know Teddy does a lot of producing for YG artists, so that could be a thing. I don't know. Um, if I had to pick a favorite track off this album, I feel like it's too easy to say how you like that, because I've listened to that like a bajillion times, and I love that song so much, so I guess... Uh, if I had to, like, pick, like, non-title track, a track that they did not promote, um, I guess I would pick, I don't know, let me, listen, like, skim through this one really quick. I guess I would pick Love to Hate Me, I guess between the two non-title tracks that they like haven't promoted, I, w I would pick that. Uh, but yeah, half the album is really good, or yeah, and then the other half it's like, they could have pushed this a little better or you know switched where the feature is or added certain things or it's just like very safe and uh k-pop's like very competitive and i just feel like you need to like stand out just a little bit more especially if you're one of the top girl groups and a in one of the big three or now big four companies i i don't know that's just my opinion um but uh what did you guys think of the album i'm sure you've had a lot of time to think about it because, like I said, I know this was out last year and I'm just late to the party as usual. Um, so that's it. That's my reaction. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please don't forsi 
forget to subscribe to Blimaster 5's channel down here, the Fairy Shake Reviews. Um, he does put out a lot of content, a lot of great quality content, and I've enjoyed looking through what he has to say about certain musical artists, not always K-pop, but I really enjoy when he talks about K-pop, especially groups that I've known for years and years and years. And please take the time out to check out the video that he put on my channel, Muddy Colt's Madhouse, and you can subscribe to me as well for content that's not like this because I don't really do reactions. Uh, but I do other things there on my channel that is K-pop related and I do a whole bunch of other stuff if you like, you know, movies and anime and manga and other pop culture that comes from the East and the West. Um, we also collaborate together on Muddy Cold the blog, which is where this video is going to be embedded on top of his. Um, I hope you enjoy this reaction. I, I don't know, I think I already said that, but anyway, uh, stay safe, stay hydrated. It's something that I say, I normally say peace at the end of the video, but I'm going to steal something out of his book, which is much love peace, I think. Tres. <laughs> Several months later. So, uh, I bought the album. <laughs> You know, some things change and songs grow on you. So there it is. I, I fell for it. Good job, Blackpink. <laughs>